Hi and welcome to this quick video where I'll show you how to screen mirror your Mac to your LG Smart TV. So the key thing to making this work is to make sure they're both on the same Wi-Fi network and we'll also check that AirPlay is enabled on the TV. So let's start by checking Wi-Fi on the TV. We'll grab the remote control and press settings. Then come down this list until you get to network. We land on general and we go across to the right and down to Wi-Fi connection. As you can see, I have a tick next to my Wi-Fi network. If yours isn't connected, just locate it from the list here, click on it and enter your password. Once that's done, just use the back button to come out of this screen and we'll then check the Wi-Fi connection on the laptop. So we go up to the top to the control center then Wi-Fi network. You can see I'm already connected. I have a blue circle just to let me know. If you're not connected, just go to other networks and again, locate your Wi-Fi network, click on it and enter the password. Once connected, you'll have the blue circle and the network name. So that's done. Next, we'll check the AirPlay settings on the TV. So grab the remote again. And this time we'll press the source button in the bottom left, we have Home Dashboard. Select that. Once this loads, if you look towards the center of the page, we have AirPlay. Just click there. And this loads the AirPlay page and it tells us which Wi-Fi network we're on, the name of the TV, and we have AirPlay and HomeKit settings. And we just click here. Just here at the top, we can see that AirPlay is turned on. If you click it, it turns off. Just make sure it's turned on. We have some other options here, such as require a code. So the first time someone attempts to connect to your TV, it will require a code. This helps prevent accidental connections from your neighbors and other people and so on. So that's done. I'm going to back out of this and I shall now attempt a connection. So what we do is we go to the control center just at the top here again. We'll come down to screen mirroring. You can see the TV name here. So I'll just press this circle beside it. This initiates the connection. And as you can see, we're now connected. We have a couple of options here. We can mirror, which will duplicate the screen that's displayed here on the laptop. The mouse cursor is moving on both screens at the same time. If I go back to the control center, screen mirroring, and go back to use as a separate display, that was the default. Now, there are a couple of interesting settings we can also play with. If we go back to the control center, back to the screen mirror, and go to display preferences, we can place a tick here for show mirror options in the menu bar when available. And that places this little square or these two squares here, which you can quickly access the screen mirroring options. The second useful thing is to go to Arrangement here, this tab. And here you can identify which screen is which. The smaller screen is the laptop one. And if you press and hold the touchpad, you can see it highlights it in red. And if I like, I can move this to a different location. So I could have the laptop screen be to the right of the larger LG screen. It could be on top. I can have it to the left or I can have it at the bottom. And this just makes it easier for the cursor to move straight up and down if I have it beneath. However, it's up to you how you want to set it. And finally, just to disconnect your session, all you need to do is go to the control center again, screen mirroring, and just press this round circle next to your TV and your session is disconnected. So there we have it. Let me know in the comments how you're going to be using screen mirroring. And of course, thank you very much for choosing my video. If you've liked it, give it a quick thumbs up. And all I have to say now is have a great day ahead.